Condemned to death by his peers for rebellion, Horus from Eurokonopolis, the god of heavens, has seven days to see the earth of mankind once more. The earth he helped create. Seven days, the time for one beat of the divine heart. Not a second more before being deprived of his immortality. But even the gods fear death. Simult bad. I know you're there. Secretions, just in case. Okay, already in decontamination. Plus another 17, that makes 19. Yeah. Right. Makes now I'm also in charge of the nano implants department, but we concentrate more on synthetic skin. No hard feelings, then. Thank you for reminding me. Can I take two? No. Only one this time. There may be no hard feelings, but you're still tight fisted. Fuck you, Elna. You should be so lucky. That girl's dangerous. She must be on pretty powerful stuff. She managed to damage a carrier when they were selecting them. When they were rounding them up, you mean? That's why I'm interested in her. I see you're involved in illegal medicine more than ever. Resistance medicine is a difference. You really like her, don't you? I'm taking her with me. I'll need a supply of antibiotics, even old ones, and microneedles. Not so fast, darling. I want a detailed report of all the analyses you'll perform on her. And don't even try to pretend that you've lost the file. You can have her, but I want the file. Professor Lubitsch to Operating Theater 212. Professor Lubitsch to Operating Theater 212. His mother's been treated at eugenics. He's waiting for her to be returned to him. How old are you? Let's go. Public opinion. Do you think he's the one who organized the Pyramid Affair in order to get elected? No. His influence doesn't run that deep. It's obvious 
that the pyramid is extraterrestrial, like the intrusion zone in Central Park. I don't agree with the view that intrusion is a matrix of dangerous mutants. That rumor was spread by Allwood to serve the interests of eugenics. Scientists have proved that intrusion is a gateway to parallel or extraterrestrial worlds. We'll have to face the fact that we're not alone in the universe. But in practical terms, your program doesn't seem very satisfactory. You're putting all the blame on the outgoing candidate, Senator Allgood. I'm also talking about the medical dictatorship that Allgood has imposed on New York City with the active participation of eugenics. I'm talking about raids, illegal experiments, unauthorized blood tests and organ removal, people going missing. I'm talking about Globus One. You know what that is, don't you? It's the freezer used by the mad scientists that work for eugenics. But you do agree there's a real security problem, don't you? That series of murders on level two. That's police business. I have full confidence in the federal police. What a bitch! What a bitch! A bitch, but a fast learner about politics. That's what I mean. A whore. That's enough. About those murders, how many have been reported so far? Four. Who's in charge of the case? Inspector Fubi. He's a specialist in the abnormal. He thinks it's the work of a serial killer. Fubi is no specialist. Hunting is all he lives for. Ever since he had his face chewed on by the Dyak. He's a real psychopath. <laughs> he's a liability. I don't agree, Miss Lang. Fubi is a good cop. In any way, he's politically neutral. Neutral? Neutral doesn't exist. There's only men and women, humans and aliens. The integrated and the rejected. The whole fucking universe is split in two. That makes five in less than 48 hours. It's gotta be a record. Exactly the same M.O. It's just as if the body had exploded from the inside. I was told there was a witness. Yeah, he's right over there. He's waiting for you. Unit 627 Back at my office in an hour. I'll see you at Froehler's, okay? Are you all right? Yeah, yeah. All right, I'll see you there. Are you sure you're all right? What can I get you? He wants to know if they're diseased. He asked you a question. Hey, I'm fine, thanks. All your organs? I've changed my lungs. They're a Chinese model. Not bad. Pretty attractive. And I have a new bladder, too. No problem there. Still don't want to drink?
Six? No, seven. Outside the bar, the witness. Ah, the one I never got to see. That's right, the giant. He's the seventh. And the agent who was supposed to bring him to you was the sixth. Reminds you of the Dyax, doesn't it? Cold-blooded carnage like this. Right up their alley. The Dyax are extinct. They were all exterminated after the riots 30 years ago. Except the one that got you. Hmm. Thank you, Sandy. It's not going to hold, but I can't do anything anymore. I did warn you. Only 35% of your original metabolism remains. You've modified or replaced all the rest. I have a contract with eugenics. I had guessed that much. Tell my colleague I sent you. He's a specialist in nanosurgical repairs. Don't leave it too long. Thank you, Doctor. I'm so sorry, Jill. New Yorkers all seem to have gone insane. Where was I? Ah, yes. The lapse in your memory. I was wondering what it is that you don't want to remember so badly that you're this blocked. But it's another way. What are you trying to forget? I can't remember anything. There's a subtle difference. But it seems that you remembered to take strong doses of potentially dangerous substances as yet unidentified. Do you have any on you? Is your supplier on level three in Little Paris amongst the non-humans? What have you got against non-humans? Some of them are very decent beings. You, for example. to tell you that in 20 years of medicine, I've never seen a guinea pig quite like you. Never seen such a heart, lungs, or a womb like that. Never. You're built like someone who was born less than three months ago. Maybe that's what you want to forget. Or what you're not sure about. When did you get to New York? And how? Some of the vertebrate animals on this planet shed their skin. You are going through the same process. Listen to my offer. Work for me. Let me conduct a thorough medical examination. Take some samples, test some medication. If you trust me, you won't have anything to worry about anymore. You'll be covered and legal. And more importantly, I'll get you a card. I have a contract with the Western Hysteria. You can live there. You're the greatest mystery of nature I've ever come across. I got picked up in a eugenics raid. I shot a carrier. It could have gone very badly. A human woman doctor saved me. She offered me a job in legal housing. I accept it. 
as a guinea pig. Apparently, my body is only three months old, and my organs aren't in the right place. <laughs> Not in the right place, according to whose criteria? You see that pyramid monument? Do you think it's in the right place? And me, do you think I am? There's something important you should know. This planet is rejecting me, Jill. This atmosphere, this oxygen, it's burning me up. I have to take care of you before it's too late. I'm getting old, Jill. I've been around for centuries. I'm confused. Flying pyramid, a serial killer on the loose, and now a chunk of prison falling from the sky. Is someone out to sabotage my political career or what? It's almost like in one of those Greek tragedies, Senator. All the elements will fall into place. What are you doing here, Inspector Fröbe? I'm looking for three of my men who have disappeared. You're a serial killer again? Don't think so. Here. A gift for you. What is it? You should know better than me. Give me that. This is way out of your league. I haven't found the man who goes with this. Thank you. It 
disgusting carcass on a bed, scattered with stones, its legs in the air like a woman in need. Flattered, Nicopola, wretched human. Anubis can't be far away, the guardian of the tombs, the god of the dead. Don't ever speak that jackal's name again, you understand? Only my name, only me. <sighs> okay, okay. <sighs> my leg. Where's my leg? You can see you're not dead. The dead don't feel pain. The dead don't bleed. Either. Yeah, I'm alive. And I'm bleeding like a pig. Listen carefully. I won't say it twice. For two of your days now, I have been looking for a host body for reasons that go far beyond any human concerns. I need a body to welcome me and serve me. You. You seem to be suitable. I've tested seven humans before you and rejected them all. But you, your body is clean. You come from the past. Thirty years of hibernation. Your body won't reject me. We are compatible. What year is it? Who set me free? 2095. After your Jesus Christ, your release is an accidental escape. I was supposed to be let out in 2096. Uh, I was released a year ahead of schedule. I've gained a year, but I've lost the leg. Fuck! Forget the old one. Here's a new one. Yeah. Thank you for calling. That was the forensic scientist from Globus. And? The leg has been identified. And? Well, it belongs to... Nikopol. Perfect. 
is in the way. This thing weighs a ton. I'll never be able to move. That's right. Without me, you won't be able to move. And by the way, from now on, you won't be able to do much of anything without me. I accept that I'm not dead now. But I hope I'm dreaming this. Please, God, let this be a nightmare. Let this all be a nightmare. You believe in God? I don't even have that to fall back on. I suggest you believe in me, Nicopola. Do I have a choice? I'm afraid not. Now rise and walk. I've relinquished control, Nicopole. You can have a bit of autonomy now. I want you to know that everything is going perfectly well. Your body is very comfortable and tolerates me beautifully. And above all, you're most elegant. Are you fucking kidding me? Elegant, famous, and subversive. Just what I like. It seems you're the instigator of all this fighting that's been going on without you. Not bad for a human. Would it be too much to ask for just a bit more autonomy? I'd like to choose my own clothes with the little free will I've left. Your happiness is my priority, Nicopol. <laughs> Mr. Free Spirit. How is Dr. Elma Turner? Never been better. Welcome to the Western Hysteria Hotel, 39th floor, room 12. Any friend of Dr. Turner's is a friend of mine. That's for me. Thanks. What's your name? Willie? Okay. I'll call you Willie. And you can call me Jill. Temperature 44.2. Plan shield unknown. Unknown. Shield recorded. Number of teeth 37. All incisors. No mammal dental blades. Buccal profile unknown. Thank you, Jill. Now we can make a food test.
With a list that's getting longer, eight victims, all male, in less than 72 hours. A macabre new record. This just in. Senator Allgood has announced that he will be on the Zeppelin when the scientific delegation and leading Egyptologists make another attempt to contact the inhabitants of the pyramid. The hydrometer rate is down today in Brooklyn for the fourth day running. On intrusion, however, no change. Snow, ice, temperature 23 below freezing. Twelve attempted break-ins into intrusion have been reported. There are no survivors. Do not approach the Central Park area. don't understand. Nikopol is alive. Maybe not. It, it was reported that he was shot by a department store security guard and fell 100 meters. But they couldn't find the body. You're telling me the man can fly? I can put you on to Huxley. Fribb is a right-hand man. and He's in charge of... That's okay, Jonas. Thanks. You can leave us now. Right. Get the hell out of here. Beat it. <clears throat> he knows everything. I know he knows everything. And his phenomenal memory is stuffed with enough evidence concerning your late father's financial dealings and his illegal experiments on alien populations to cause eugenics some very serious problems. I'm aware of that. Up until now, we've only had the spirit of Nikopol to deal with. But now we have him in flesh and blood. No one's ever come back from Globus. Well, he has. Why wasn't he executed 30 years ago anyway? Are you crazy? Are you crazy to make a hero out of him? A martyr to the lousy revolution? What do you want? Riots? Assassinations? This is the last prototype of the Hunter version. Fast, ferocious, and totally illegal. He'll be quicker than Fröbe and his men. Are you sure? No, but it's the only solution. Apart from your protégé. No, not him. Let's try this one first. Come in. You're early. We have no time to lose. Is he ready? Have you reactivated him yet? No. I'll need about an hour. I wanted to make sure you really wanted him. We do. Okay. What's this? What happened? Nothing of any importance, really. Nothing. Do you like women? Women? Women. My most beautiful and most important creation on this planet. Your story doesn't make much sense. 
You're looking for a blue-haired girl with white skin. What's this all about, and how do you know she comes here? In the same way that I knew I'd find her on planet Earth in New York City. Intuition, Nicopola. The intuition of the gods. So, what's so special about her that warrants such a display of talents? Is she Miss Universe, or what? <laughs> you don't think I've come all this way for a mere human being, do you? Now I'll know more about you. Why are you doing all this for me? It's a political and social fight. My spirit of Nicopole coming out. Besides, your case interests me. I think you like me. Isn't that what you were thinking? You could say that. How do you guess? Do you read minds, too? You could say that. It's true, I do like you. And I feel close to you, Jill, whoever you are. Mutant or whatever. Although you are beginning to scare me. Let's try a little experiment to test this talent of yours. I'm going to think of a question, and you're going to answer. Ready? Ready. I've asked the question. You want to know if I've started testing the foods you prescribed for me, if I took a blood test three hours later, and if I took notes? Answer, yes. I did everything I was supposed to do, and I found everything absolutely delicious. I'm a professional guinea pig. You tasted everything? For dinner, yes. I ate it all. And you ate everything at once? In the prescribed quantities? I weighed everything. I just changed a couple of the recipes. I didn't have anything to cook with, so I ate the fish called monkfish raw, and the lamb, too. They're not bad together. How many meals do you have a day? Two a week. you idiot. She's the one. John? Come, Jill. Come. You'll be my last and most beautiful intrusion. Listen carefully. For thousands of Earth years, I've been introducing people into the four corners of the galaxy. People misplaced by the vagaries of the universe. You're a misplaced person, Jill, and I'll never know your origins. You appear deep in the heart of intrusion, and that's where I took charge of you. 
The blue pills stop your past from emerging and let the present invade you. Your metamorphosis is on the verge of completion. From now on, your place is on this planet. What about you? Aren't you stay? I'm a passer, Jill, at the end of his cycle. I'm already dreaming of a void. I'm afraid. Afraid of what? Of becoming human. Tell me about your job with Dr. Emma Turner. Can I buy you a drink? Don't you think I have enough already? Well, I don't see any cognac or sake, tequila, Schlievowitzer. I'm working, do you mind? A vodka, make it a Tarkovskaya, please. I like your hair. It's very nice. It goes very well with white skin. Is it a new thing in makeup? Kabuki style, maybe. You must be an actress. You're expecting something from me. The answer is no. You're going to need someone to take you home. What makes you think that? You have no other choice. I don't have a room. Which level are you from? I'm above levels. This is level two. 
And the hotel's full. The hotel may be. But your bed is not. Ladies first. Control, miss. Your papers? My papers? 